In this procedure, you will learn how to communicate with an angry patient in a safe, therapeutic manner. Although it is important to safeguard patients' privacy, do not ask an angry patient into an isolated room. To protect yourself, remain in an open area. If you are in a room with an angry patient, keep the door open and stand close to the door so that you can leave the room quickly if necessary. Good afternoon. What can I help you with today? Do you really think you can do this to me? Take a look at this. Alert other staff members to the situation, if possible. Call 911 immediately if you feel physically threatened. If you do not feel physically threatened, allow the patient to blow off steam. An x-ray for a simple muscle pull? Do you want to pay $500 for every ex routine checkup you'd get? Attempting to interrupt the patient to give a logical reason for the problem will only make him angrier. Allowing him to continue to yell helps him release the anger so that you can work on a reasonable solution to the problem. When the patient begins to slow down, offer supportive statements until the patient is calmer. Seriously, I, I need to think about switching doctors. Find one that isn't going to scam me. I thought that my insurance would cover it. Did you even try contacting my insurance company? Listen, I. I understand it's frustrating when you receive a bill that seems unfair. It's more than frustrating, it, it, it's infuriating. I know it's really difficult when you feel like you don't have the money to pay for it. I don't. Once you can discuss the situation, ask the patient for the details of the problem. Gather as much information as possible so you can work together on a possible solution. But my job is to help you to try to find solutions that work with your budget. So, can we look at your bill together and see what kind of solutions we can find? That, that sounds fine. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at your record, okay? So, it looks like this was a visit with Dr. Hanser, is that right? Yes. Okay. So, some of these retests actually require preauthorization. So, I'm going to give this document to our billing specialist, have her call the insurance company to check on what documentation is required. Use therapeutic techniques, including restatement, reflection, and clarification, to gather details and work on a possible solution with the patient. After determining the problem, suggest a possible solution to the patient. For example, tell him that you will contact the billing office or insurance company with the information and will make sure they get back to the patient as soon as possible. Does that sound okay? I don't think you're really going to do anything about it. I, I hope that you do. I understand, Mr. Kellogg, but I will personally call you by the end of the week. Okay. Make sure you follow up with the action to prevent future outbursts. Report the incident to your supervisor or provider. Well, we've had quite a day today, haven't we? <laughs> we have. So I told Mr. Kellogg that we would have our billing insurance specialist contact his insurance company, try to find out what financial solutions we could come up with, you know, that meet his needs. And then next steps, we would put together a payment plan for him. It's a great, great plan, great idea. Thank you. And I waited until he ran out of steam, and then I made sure he knew that I sympathized with him and that we would look over the bill together. So I think that worked. Oh, you handled it very well. Did a Thank great you. job, Jessica. Thanks. Document the patient's problem and the agreed upon action in the patient's health record, taking care not to use judgmental statements. Discuss your approach to managing the difficult patient at the next staff meeting. With your supervisor's permission, summarize your approach and include it as part of the facility's employee safety plan. Music